All right, let's do it. It's Black History Month. Uh, we got to honor it with the weirdest odd one out. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, for sure. Now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask. Are there any other, like, Africans or anybody with, like, any, like, Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't, but my mom's Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally, like, a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to... He's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure, for sure. Uh, anyone else? Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, uh, Rosebud is actually my street, mate, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name. I mean, this is the easiest thing to, uh, you know, this is the easiest thing to just literally just go, everybody say the N-word. You know what I mean? That's it. That's it, right? Like, I mean, come on. And then boom, it's over. What do you mean? What? Why are you hitting me with a neutral phase? I mean, that's it. It's name, but then instant solve. People call me by They do Fitzy. Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Fitz, I thought it was because you had tough Fitz on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I too, I too, you can't even see him, what you talking about, that, bro? That too. I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You I wasn't even that's funny. Cool. Can we all say what we wearing and everything? I got a skeleton all red, varsity jacket, cargo bro, pants you know on crazy. the side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> no, you can't, no, you can't. You I wish East? I could dap you up right now. I wish I could dap you up right now. But. Wait, what type forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You feel right. Oh, I see where you're going with <laughs> you that. You said I did You said half black, half, half white. Half black, half white, you feel me? No cap, I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Who's one of the brothers, you feel me? Who here knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head? It stink. It stink real bad. <laughs> what are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Bland. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. no! He's, he's making everybody laugh! No! His vocal inflections, like it just, it kind of it made, made me think of, you know, straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black, you know, <laughs> for a second. Yeah, I grew up on classic rock from my mom's side, and then I grew up on Motown from my dad's side. So anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my Nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop up and Nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. <laughs> Yo. Telling them, stick your ass down. You know? <laughs> Do you think this is culturally appropriate? I mean, his voice and stuff. No, he should go to prison is what I think. I think he should go to jail, chatter. I think playing games like this is literally, it, it's, it's jail worthy. Everyone has one person that's suspicious of them. <laughs> so we know where, basically. <laughs> Yo, we made it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Me growing up half black, half white, there's certain songs that they sang that I honestly didn't know word by word what to what to say. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? It's a famous line, y'all. You gotta know that. I ain't gonna cover. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Mm. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> complete this song. Uh, that boy got stretch, stretch pants. pants. That boy got <laughs> stretch <laughs> pants. <laughs> what is that? I got one. I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. To cook yeah. it real good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and your mama Can whipping we... it up. Mm -hmm. okay. food okay. Okay. Like I was listening so intently on, on voices because you ever been on the phone with like telemarketer? You can tell us a black person on the other side, so you throw out little hints. You know, while you're talking, and like, oh yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that. Call and response. Won't he do it? Yes, Won't he will. will. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they know this. This is true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. You mean purple? Oh! 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 He shut him down so quick, dude!
<laughs> what the f that was yo that was weird the way he <laughs> give me purple oh jesus christ yeah, that's kind of suspicious. That's low sus right there. You say gray. Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we go by colors. We don't go by, we don't go by that, what you just said. Wait, wait, uh, hold up. Why is that crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call, we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from, we go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool-Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. He was trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that... I Poor guy, dude. That's like f***ed up. They put... They put Bobby Biracial over here, and, like, now he's getting cooked for no reason. Like, Jesus Christ. He already talked about how he had two different colored shoes because he's half black, half white. Come on, man. Maybe logic was right, dude. Logic was right. Let the guy live. I, I grew up with a bunch of friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool-Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors, say stop. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean about logic? Like, what, what do you what do you think I'm talking about? What do you what do you think I mean about logic? Who could I be talking about? You think I'm talking about white chatters are like, uh -huh, what do you mean? Logic and reasoning? Is that what you're talking about? I don't understand. It's like he used critical thinking skills. <laughs> in the summers, it was either if you outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Instead of drinking Kool-Aid, I just drink Prime now because it tastes the same. Dude, okay. Tropical Prime tastes exactly like red Kool-Aid. Like, literally exactly like red Kool-Aid to a T. I'm not, this is not a hashtag ad. When, when, uh, when Hey Big Mike brought it here, I tried it. It's not for me, by the way, but it does, it does taste exactly like red Kool-Aid. Like, yeah, it wasn't no running in and running up, up and inside your house, you know? So y'all, y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. 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 Don't let that good air out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it comes to black women from the nineties, who do you think of off it? Be along. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna say, uh, 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 ah, shit, what's her name? Ra she was a rapper. Um, wow, what's her name? Rap City. Jada Pinkett, or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. Yeah, you take them forever. Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from, like, Black Panther. Who was the queen, you feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know Angela her. Bassett. Oh, Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Right. There, there we go. go. There we go. Well, I, I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her name. The old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing up, watching my sisters Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from that runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyra's from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, sheesh. <laughs> okay his answers are the most sus this guy keeps getting away with just not saying anything and now the half white half black dude is just like he's just like over correcting but also simultaneously giving the worst answers possible he's gonna get f he's gonna get clapped Appreciate y'all. <laughs> My homeboy was matching with is gone now, bro. When it comes to being black men. No one mentioning Megan Good is criminal. Universal. Literally universal. That is like, I saw a tweet about how apparently she used to be super religious. She's ever in the 90s. Isn't that, what would, what would that be? Megan Good is 2000s, hand over your black card chatter. I mean, look, I might get the timeline wrong, but I saw recently a tweet about Megan Good, who apparently was like very religious. I did not know this, but hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Does anyone have the tweet? You must have seen it. It was viral. It was like super viral. Megan Good seems like whoever is running Twitch socials is as big as a fan of Pedro Pascal as you. God damn it. I wanted to show the tweet. Okay. I can't find it. Anyway, she's very attractive. Good for her microaggressions let's talk about it i got you right here man i went to a pwi man i'd be chilling in the corner there's only five percent of us but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the for the, for the diversity, for the diversity. Yo. For, for the diversity right i'm like they only five percent i gotta give them credit though because like finding us is gonna be a little bit tough but like they, they found a way regardless i ain't even gonna lie loke i'm i'm real lost we from the streets i ain't even get that far like college and stuff like that Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. yeah it's like the low key racist thing. Yeah. Right? Like, not like. You're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a grown man. You're a black guy. You're so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game. You walk down the street, right? And a white folks see you. The first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you. Bro, I know why he's not talking. 
I, I get why he's not talking. It gives it away. Like, I mean, maybe if you're in that situation when you have like uh, blinders on, it's hard, I guess. But like, it kind of, I, I don't know. It's just, it feels like you can just, like, it, it's a dead giveaway. They fold their lips, like, and nod their head down, mm -hmm. make that weird face. Or they face, give you, you know hell of space on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yeah. Or clutch their bag. Clutch their purse. Microaggressions. Yeah. Clutch like, the bag. Or take the next elevator. Yes, mm -hmm. all of that, all of that. Hella room in the elevator too. They're at you like, you ain't supposed to be here. Okay. David Duke taught this, thought the same thing, Hassan? Wait, what? I just asked where mama at. Yeah. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like, loving basketball, don't be a menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, Damn, I like smart though. Asking others a question means you have, uh, you speak for a limited time and then you get everyone else to talk about it. All right, you from New York, yeah, bro. Yeah, dude, so you already know, like, I am my brother's keeper and that's some real shit, so. I'll tell you what, man, I watched the, uh, the first Power Rangers movie, like, twice a day for, like, the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah. Power uh, Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, Yo, Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Oh, facts, facts. Power Rangers is hard. It is. I watch, I watch anime, too. I'm not oh, wait. You watch yeah. anime? I do. Uh, what, what, you, do. what you like? What you like? I can talk about it for shows and gateway. Oh, Y'all, Naruto. Come on. like. Don't laugh at me, but I love the Disney Channel originals. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, no, no. That's good. <laughs> let's, watch let's, watch shine, let's watch the Disney Channel. Boy. Y'all know about that Static Shock, though. Come on. I was literally just about to say. Nah, I'm saying Superhero Static Shock. I met his voice actor, bro. He was, you did? Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Wait, he voices every single black, every single black, everything. And Samurai Jack. He has yeah. got range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. Wow. All right, I got a question because I feel like we just. Gonna I did not know that. Be like, we gonna be vibing. That's man. sick. Too much, yeah. Right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we gotta tap in for real. <laughs> hey, you have to. Yeah, nah. you be like. But, uh, okay, so hmm. why does that bother you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did he say? For real. Hey, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Too yeah. much, yeah, right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we gotta tap in. For real. <laughs> hey, you have to. Yeah, nah. you be like. But, uh, okay, so. Hmm. Why does that bother you? <laughs> 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 you didn't even have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regards to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being uh, a Russian girl. And my dad was, he, he always used to throw hints like, hey, man. You know, she's nice and all that stuff. And like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I knew like the his upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism stuff. So he kind of had like the hesitance mm -hmm. for like those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members like say, hey, like. I mean, my mother was from Shreveport. So, you know, she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already like in her late 50s. So okay. she wasn't playing with none of that really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love. But at the same time, I think there's always that underlying like, you know, we would love for it to be a black woman, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was actually the same for me. They never said, don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that. But I definitely- I knew he was from Louisiana. Yes, dude. I mean, the only spicy white Americans that are like straight up Americans live in Louisiana, okay? That's it. Straight up. I mean, even think about, think about like Louisiana cooking and shit. The only white people in the country that just dump an entire bucket of spice into whatever the they're cooking is white people in Louisiana. And no, I'm not talking about Steven Seagal or the cops that we're talking about, okay? You saw that gator pasta? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did see the gator pasta clip and and that is immediately what I thought of where I was like this is this is the only like actually uh <laughs> this is the only like unique uh white person in the country. And then I also thought about all the oh god, I saw another f There's a there's a Chinese influencer that literally cooks like wild, like like a salamander. Have you guys seen that? I saw both of them in succession, and it and it really me up. Yeah, this black is the one. alligator with some cheesy pasta, baby. Let's go. Half a stick of butter. Four pounds of that alligator cubed up now. Nah. I hit it with my black and seasoning now, nah. and that salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and chill and let RJ get that alligator grilled up now. Nah. All right, y'all hit it with another stick of butter, baby. Alright, y'all gonna draw in some two pounds of cooked pasta. 16 ounces heavy whipping cream, y'all. One cup of mild cheddar, y'all. One cup, y'all, smoked gouda with bacon, now. Nah. Eight more ounces bacon, of heavy nah. cream, now. Nah. Another half a stick of that garlic butter, baby. One lemon zested up, now. Nah. Two cup that fresh parsley, now. Nah. Five cloves, fresh garlic. Go ahead with that alligator, now, nah, right in the hole, baby. Y'all go ahead and check my website out. Ralph the Baker W sauce. I love that he has the Naruto Uzumaki shirt on too. Uzumaki, babe, hit it up. Squeeze out one lemon, baby. One cup that Parmesan cheese. 
Go ahead and mix it up real good. All right, baby, I'll check it out now. I'm not going to lie. That shit does not look that good. Okay. I, I know many people were saying that it, they're saying that, uh, you know, people were, people were saying it's good, but like, eh, not for me. Also, alligator just sounds wild. If you think that's bad, have you seen the salamander? Oh my God. Okay. We're, we're going to get back to the black history month, uh, video that we were watching. I totally forgot know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister for sure like oh shoot like you're, you're with somebody who understands you right who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis from the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face my people were cool or whatever like I'm cool or whatever too but like I appreciate a sister like because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself We have a tie between Rob and Brevin. Y'all yeah, hit that side of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Like I said, um, I didn't have a traditional like upbringing as far as like uh -oh. dating um, a lot of different people. Because this has got to feel bad in hindsight when you get there. Um, but when you give a clap before the white guy, it's got to feel bad when you're looking at the game tape. You're like, oh man, where the did I go wrong? As far as home life, I had uh, two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard, I don't know. I'm black, y'all, I'm black. <laughs> My name Robert, I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too much school, and that's pretty much it. He doesn't believe it. When it came to Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged and I relate more to struggle hearing some of the things that he was saying. Oh no. Like oh best. no. Oh no. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, 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 I appreciate the try, bro. It looks like we are tied again. Wow. What? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I, I'm just going to say that, like, the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like, you know, that's just a case where he could, like, relate to a lot of, like, black people's struggles. You feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, but he might not be, like, black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, oh, no. And he definitely sounds like he's from South Central, for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. So, I'm going to say he stayed. Except for him. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a fact. Rob Black, he yeah. sound like people from around my way. So, he... So, oh, no! You, no. Yeah. But you gotta kick rocks. <laughs> I, I hear it in Brevin's voice, too, though. Like, that's the thing. I hear it in both. Yeah, I but, hear it, yeah. for sure. Bro. But Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob, and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like, is you gonna really relate, or...? Yeah. yeah. You know, I no think disrespect, that... What but, does hit and lick <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, no! He's out! He's out! Dude, this is this is a disrespectful video to put out on Black History Month, okay? I'll say it. This is a disrespectful video to put out on Black History Month. Do you understand? This is f***ed up. Oh, no! <sighs> Take me away. Yeah, Rob sound like he know good catfish. I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay, it's all good. I think the mole is still in the box and you wanna continue playing the game. Raise your hand. No, stop, what are you doing? 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 I knew I wasn't gonna get eliminated. Um, Why is that? I don't know. I just came in like I was going to win. Really, I already said I was going to win. So. Anybody else got a question? Oh, yeah. 
All right, so let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? Or like a hot take about like black Ooh, people? yeah, yeah. Let's get the white guy to say some shit. Oh no. And, you know, our community and stuff like that. Since the beginning of- Come on, Rob. The US, um, with the obvious mistreatment of black people, a lot as a mixed man from the suburbs, I would be out before the first round begins. I mean, a lot of it's like information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us. And more so recently, the information has been normalized to be pushed out. And this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information, with all that stuff, so we can no longer have those continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve as a people. And I think that's dope. But I also think that people need to really be on their P's and Q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even though we spend some of the most money in the US, it never stays within the black community. The gang banging. Yeah. That yeah. gotta Elaborate. stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point in gang banging no more. I mean, mm. uh, if you think about it, you gang banging. Uh, and then it got so bad where you, you know, everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, the op side or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I, if I supposed to game bang, shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I gotta go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. Mm, I feel that. Mm. So it's uh, just, it's, uh, that's, that's the first thing, gotta go. Don't be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. Like, I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Suvi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that. You know? Oh my God, he does. Subi is not exactly the, the you know, peak of designer. Those are like $100 jeans, you know what I mean? But the shoes, on the other hand, I feel like that's, you know. I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, he's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma. And uh, nothing against like the school or anything of people who's around, but I feel like the ideas and uh, hundred dollars is a lot for jeans, Hassan. Just hundred dollar jeans. I mean, there are jeans out there. The shoes he's wearing is like eight times the cost of the jeans. As far as like, as far as jeans goes, if you want jeans that fucking literally last you a long ass time, I mean, you can go with Levi's. But like hundred dollars for a jean, a pair of jeans when you were wearing fifteen hundred dollar shoes is is a little is crazy. It's not in the same category. But why every single time we talk about this issue, people turn around and act like they are they have never like how much do Levi's cost now, mother? How much do they cost now? They're like they're seventy dollars. The fuck are you talking about? It's like $60, $70. What, what do you mean? Okay, $30 extra motherfuckers are like, bro, that's crazy. I can't believe you just brought up Subi as like uh, not that expensive for jeans. Like, what the fuck? You don't even wear jeans? I wear jeans all the time. No, chat has to... Chat literally has to act like no matter what I say, no matter what I ha say, it's like an unimaginable thing. Bro, sometimes I talk about having a fridge and chat will be like... Pfft. Look at this guy, big money guy, running around with a fridge at his house. Imagine having shelter, a roof over your head, and a fridge. That's crazy. Are you acting like $70 jeans are not expensive? I'm saying if Levi's is $70, then $100 is not that expensive in comparison to the shoes he's wearing. That was my point. But you have to be contrarian and have to out, uh, out poor man me while simultaneously saying I'm completely out of touch. Don't act like that's not something chat does every single fucking day of the week, okay? The shoes he has on are like, they they go from, depending on what kind of Rick Owens shoes he's wearing, they go from minimum $700, $800 to literally $1,500. These two are not in the same category. Subi is not in the same category as Rick Owens. That was what I was, po that was, what I was talking about. And like the mindsets that he's been around from his, uh, you know, early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open-minded to new possibilities. Opportunities are out there. We just got, you know, open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us, you know? This might be on the fault of like the media, but I think sometimes we over sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something, like there's just so much more to us than like, you know, the pain that we go through. 
And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in like our movies, our TV shows, just like the way we talk about, like the way we talk about things. Like I think that there's just so much more to the black yeah. community than that. I want to see black people doing goofy stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Right. Yes. Come on, now talk about it. Or criminals, or, yeah. or, or, yeah. or they're gangsters, yeah. or killers. No, that's not yeah. even like a thing for America, but like you go to China, you go to like some of these other places, like that's hey, all they yeah. see of us. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Damn. Word. Y'all gonna be real? Yeah. I think we're all good, bro. Say. Oh shit. What? He's still no shot. <laughs> Sorry, Gabriel. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Oh no. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. All right. So that's unanimous. We're going to end the game right then and there, okay? That's crazy. If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. <laughs> the thought popped in my head of what if you had it wrong the whole time? And the he started talking about the Ricks and they all thought he was a white Cardi fan. <laughs> Guy right next to you is the one. Three, two, one. It is red. That means the mole is still here. Sure. You guys can lift your blindfolds in three, <laughs> two, one. What? <laughs> this is hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Rob. That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. Oh, 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 That's wrong. Oh, I'm Brevin. Brevin? Yo, what's up? Brevin. Let's eat some man. Big ups to you, yo. Big ups to you. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob. Like, that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they called me Milk. I'm from South Central. Uh, I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like a, out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. <laughs> My whole family was black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until I was like, that's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every birthday. But I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Oh, it was. It's getting a little better. Huh. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier or was it more difficult to get along with black nah, people? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county jail, yeah. juvenile yeah. hall, every yeah. party, yeah. everything. And your whole f He's the only white dude in Hoover Crips, Milk74, on why he uses the N-word even though he's white. Rob played every stereotype. What? Happy Black History Month? I, I think you're you're saying that, but also like, I mean, this, if anything, this proves that, like, people are uh, a product of their environment more than anything else. What do you mean? Like, yeah, he, he, was born into, he was born into poverty. He grew up in South Central. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, that's, that's kind of the point. Like, that's how you know that, like, that's how you know that uh, in many instances, it's like, in most instances, it has nothing to do with the, I mean, he's still white. Yes, he is. So you're saying if they tried get, to get everyone to say the N-word, he would have just said it? Probably. Maybe. Chatters think he's still faking it, Lamau. He's like those two white twins that grew up in the black community and was accepted as a part of it? Yeah, like the Hoff twins. Yeah, exactly. Family, like, they just all accept you because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man... They sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's almost a um, lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel it's like crazy. you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby, Loki, like the youngest one. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Black History Month. The white man gets all the money. That is fucked up. I'm just. Okay. That's okay. What is a misconception okay. people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. Like, me personally. That's f***ed up. That's f***ed up. Not as f***ed up as the top of the hour ad break, but still fucked up. You know what I mean? Of course, if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with the Twitch 
Which Prime, what does the comments say? The interesting thing as well is that they eliminated them based on who they thought was the whitest. It really is black history. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for uh, $5 or for free, or you can get gifted a sub. Do you think this was taped before Black History Month? Yes, 100%. Oh, here's the three-minute ad right now. The argument about grape versus pearl is so goofy. The strategy of not, not talking is so smart. If you're blindfolded, they just forget about you. Yeah, that's true. He played it well. How much did he win? I don't fucking know. How would I know that? <laughs> Jesus was off that Zaza. <laughs> I love Zaza. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>